Welcome back to my final morning report analysis video on Friday, the 2nd of November with me, which is market analyst that had tip market. So let's look at gold, which big big jump yesterday. Um, saw the bulls back in the driving seat. Now, the, the important thing from my perspective is the fact that it held support. Um, these, these old highs, these old breakout highs, uh, are bound of support now between 1208 12.17. And the fact is that that is a nice little buy zone and coming with the fact that the low was at 12.11 was a really strong move and I think that that sort of helps to bolster expectations that um, gold is in still recovery mode um, and um, the fact that uh, weakness is now seen as a chance to buy on gold. But um, you do still need to see gold through 12.36. I'll zoom out and you can see the importance of 12.36. It's old key December 2017 low became supportive back in the summer then broke down and became resistance in July and it's now still a basis of resistance in October. You saw a few intraday moves through that last week, 12.43 being the highest, but you need to see a closing break above 12.36 and then above 12.43 to really confirm that the bulls are in control for 12.66. So um, we are still in recovery mode and the, the, the Positioning is still pretty strong, pretty, pretty positive on momentum, um, but you need to see the confirmation of the breakout above 12.43 to really suggest that the market is in decisive recovery mode and um, not just in consolidation mode, which has been in for the last sort of few weeks really. Um, but uh, today we're trading mildly higher on the fact that the dollar weakness is still pulling through the market. But um, still, you'd be uh, looking to buy the weakness, I think, in gold. Um, the payrolls today are going to have a key factor on gold. Certainly, if you see strong earnings growth in the States, that's going to be dollar positive. That's going to be gold negative. So we might start to see gold dipping back again. And it will be an important factor of how you start to see the, the bulls positioning themselves in response to that move. Need to see that hold uh, the support at 12.11 holding in that scenario. So um, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I'll speak to you later.